Hey, what's up, guys? Woo! Wowzers. I don't understand how I always forget to make coffee until the last minute. Mm. Soon, I'm gonna need an assistant to prepare to prepare the coffee before the show starts. That'd be awesome. Mm. Delicious. All right. A hundredth episode, everybody. Ooh, and my food is here. Uh-oh. One second. Uh -huh. Let's pick this. There we go. Ooh. My Uber food just arrived. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? What a bummer. Okay. Let me just drop the invite link. Time flies, everybody. Wear your good watches. Don't wear your beaters because the next thing you know, we're on a thousandth episode. <sighs> it's going to be insane. A thousand episodes. Can you imagine? It's not where we start. It's where we're going, guys. That's what's really important. And if you're wearing beaters in the meantime, then what's the point? Right? Think about it. Gotta wear your Rolex. By the way, where's my where's my first watch? <gasps> oh, here. One second. Let me let me put on the Submariner and pick up the food. I'll be like in two seconds. Oh, sorry about that. I just had to take the food. Okay. Whoo. Ah. Damn it. Come on. These things are hard. These headphones are confusing. All right. Well, let's see. Who do we have here? Okay. Working edge sharpening. Thank you for the upvote. By the way, guys, if you're watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Raj G. Done. Thank you for the upvote. That brown Daytona is so classy. Ooh, oh, yeah. Man, let's actually bring it up right here. And you can see what time it is in New York right now. <laughs> hey, Drew. How's it going, my man? What's up, man? I just got my wisdom teeth removed. Oh, oh no. And the, the, the surgeon complimented me on my date just. He was like, yeah, you could leave your watch at the front desk when you leave. I was like, ha ha ha. <laughs> because, did, did they have to sedate you? No, I actually opted not um, to take the sedation. I uh, <sighs> just got a shot in, um, in the jaw. Ooh, and, uh, you know that doesn't help at all. I, t I took it like a Rolex man should. Damn. Man, What's I mad on, respect. Man? Mad respect. Actually, me too. Uh, when, when I had mine pulled, I took it like a man. But, I, but, but then, after taking it like a man, I was crying like a biatch, if you know oh. what I mean. Oh, I know. I, I uh, have my pain pills. I, uh, I'm all ready to go. And But the worst part, I didn't have a roll. You know... At least you have a Rolex on. Oh, yeah. You can tell yourself like you're a Rolex man. Don't yeah. don't whinge. Don't cry. Just it really helps, it. I gotta tell you. Really Psychologically, helps. it's all about psychology. <laughs> it's like I was super depressed before I got Rolex and it changed me. It changed me. <laughs> I know, man. I know. For real. For real, for real. 
So let's ta- let's look at this bl- uh, brown dial Daytona. This is beautiful. Oh yeah. Uh, oh let me just goodness. catch up on these chats. It's just gonna take two seconds. There's not that many. Raj G says congratulations on the hundredth show, buddy. Yeah. And bring the community together. together. Man, do you remember you were on like fifth or third or if, I, I don't know, you were since the beginning. Yeah. No, I was. I was there since the start. Yeah. I remember when I, uh, my first time on the Archie show, that <laughs> was a, f- that was a really, I remember your first time on the Archie show. Oh man. That time that I got kicked. You got kicked. <laughs> we're like, no, <laughs> no, don't kick me. Oh, that guy was boring. <laughs> now look at you. Now look at, now look at us. Hey man. It's uh, it, there's good times, and there's bad times, and we've been through through a lot. You know what I mean? Oh, there's yeah. been so much, so much stuff has been happening. <laughs> Red shovel says, "Evening all, evening. evening, evening." Paul M, congratulations on the hundredth. Thank you. Khan Izeri, tenth already. Time flies. Oh, Timmy flies. Timmy flies. Nice it, one. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. That's so good. Oh, and you joined from the Twitch, right? Yes. Yeah, I Man. love the Twitch. I need I really need to tell people, I need to remind people to please uh subscribe to me on the Twitch. It re- like I really need to bump up my member my subscriptions on Twitch. Uh the rate because over there the subscription really matter. Uh, and if I can get to like 100 subscribers over there you heard the man go subscribe go subscribe guys if you have if you can take five minutes from your busy busy lives i know it's 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 tough but if you can get if you get me a sub on twitch that that can really help me out marco's in the chat come along buddy <laughs> logan hall says will you be giving away a milga z blue on your 100th episode tim <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's so funny. You know, eventually I would love to give away a Rolex. I don't know. I don't know how many subs I would have to get to, but I would love to arrange something like that. That'd be really nice. Hmm. Like a nice you know. date, just. Yeah, something, something really, something really. I I think something humble it doesn't have to be like a crazy. That's what I'm saying. Mark. A date, just yeah. Yeah, like yeah, something like, date, like mine. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be that'd be amazing. And we got JV Marker joining. Hello, JV team. Oh, we're we're the JV team. We got the JV squad for <laughs> episode number one hundred. <laughs> Winding up my watch currently. Marcus says episode one hundred already. Oh yeah. Oh, and we got some super chats. Look at this. Night wrist watchman, ten pounds, as they say in the great sports of cricket. 100 not out. Congratulations, Tim. Hashtag Centurion. Wow. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Thank you. And I'm actually I'm doing these uh, pre-shows because uh, Night Wrist Watchman has been really, you know, keeping me, uh, <clears throat> keeping me on track, reminding me that you know I should be really serving two parts of the community: the mm-hmm. pre-show and the after-show. And actually, you know, kind of. Dividing my time evenly, and uh, I'm gonna try to do more of these early shows because uh, it really helps me out going to sleep on time. Because if I if I if I do after show after Archie, it's really <laughs> hard to go to sleep afterwards because we can just do the show forever. <laughs> yeah, right. And THX one one three eight C five dollar super chat. Hey Tim, I bought a GOF. Trumpers Sam Remo, and it's a real trod cologne. Ah, oh, let's see. What is this? Actually, I'm unfamiliar with this. Actually, let's do it like this. Hey, Marco, so how, how, what, what you been up to today? Not much, not much. Went for a run in the morning, and that's pretty much it. Wow. Oh, shit. I didn't even post the pizza slice yet. I totally forgot. I woke up like literally an hour ago. Oh man, you know, uh, you you put it on uh, what's it called on Corona Twenty Four, right? No, 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 I'm gonna put it on Facebook Marketplace. 
It's not super expensive. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so is, is, are there any fees or it's what no? Is there's that? no fees. Wait, what it's are like you gonna put on marketplace? One of my watches. Oh no! It's just a Hamilton. It's not super expensive. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. I never seen this fragrance before. Geo F Trumper San Remo. Very interesting. Guys, I'm just gonna let you know. I may um, I may cut out short because uh, I'm in a lot of pain right now. Hmm. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it through as uh as as long as possible. Hey Drew, mm -hmm. I really appreciate you you know stopping by for this big day. For this yeah, man. Anniversary. I, I, it's a big day, man. I gotta I gotta show up for the big day. Wait, are you doing a pre-show and an after-show? Yeah, I mean this one's gonna be super short. Uh, Archie said that he's going to join. Uh, oh yeah, it's a, it's an early stream tonight. It's true. Yeah, so I figured you know I'll do like an hour pre-stream and then like an hour, maybe an hour and a half after stream. Right, right. Just because it's a hundredth episode, I wanna. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I wanna have all the viewers kind of talk to talk to everybody a little bit. Hey, so this says it's uh just a get his value. San Remo, city of flowers, known for Rivera glamour with subtropical vegetation and surroundings. The fragrance, the fragrant air is a mixture of palm trees, cactuses, carnations, uh, begonias, and roses. Very interesting. I've never tried this, but hey, if it's great, I'm glad that I inspired you. Or that you know, because I, I'm trying to tell people to try fragrances. That's the most important thing. Uh, just guys, go out there and try something. Find fragrance that you like. There's obviously those safe fragrances, like what Marco has, uh, what I have. Uh, there's some experimental stuff. So definitely, guys, it's like it's like buying a ticket to the movie or like a DVD, right? That's the price of a DVD, right? Sixty bucks. There you go. Mm -hmm. You're taking on a trip, on a journey uh, to Smelltown. Ooh, and Jimmy with the $5 super chat. Mr. Tim was here for the first, now the 100th. Congrats, man. Kami Lefty Fiker. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is so good. That's so good. Uh, cake. He dear, rose gold is sexy, romantic, elegant. Yellow gold is hot, loud, obnoxious. Ooh, oh, pull up, pull up a rose gold president. Yeah, you know what? That's a really interesting take. Uh, there's time and place for both. Very interesting. Pull up mm. a rose gold president. You said rose gold president. Let's take a yeah. look. At... Let's look at the. Ooh, there's rose gold. Oh, I'm surprised that it's not on the front page like that. Configure. Let's look at that. Rosy rose gold. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Damn. Man, I understand. Yeah, I, might, I might go to your AD and ask for that. Uh, you know, actually, uh, it's expensive, though. It's expensive, I know. Uh, but you know what? Like, I might be able to get you or... Oh, and we need to talk about the, the card situation. I saw your text, but uh, I was busy kind of with stuff. So, yeah, let's yeah. Uh, let's sort things out and then we'll, we'll talk about... Oh, man, this green dial. I'm not even sure what my AD would be... What, what kind of president my AD would be able to procure for me. A, a, really a rose a rose gold with a green dial. That's a nice combo. Man, these things are so valuable at the moment. You know what I mean? Like this thing is just Oh yeah. It's insane. It's insane. By the way, uh tomorrow the Mings are coming out. Ming 1801 H41 uh diver listed uh diver listed on delray watches for nine thousand it's a total dog guys ming is the way to go if anybody uh tomorrow it's gonna be on mr two's place wait i think it's tomorrow or after tomorrow i'm not 100 percent sure um wait let me just hold on ming 
When are these coming out? Tomorrow, 10.30. Tomorrow, 10.30, New York time. So it is tomorrow. Guys, if anyone wants to be able to get these, tomorrow is going to be the time. Jo make sure that you're subscribed to Mr. Two's Place. Uh, we're all going to try to be there. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how many of us will try to go for it. Uh, <clears throat> personally, I have no money to buy one, a uh, second one for myself. But uh, if anyone would like me to try, you know, for them, then, then I, can, I can do it. John, Gall John Gallup says, hey, Tim, been watching for a while, wanted to share my good news. Collected the Rolex Pepsi Oyster today. And so happy. Only had to wait three years and two months. Dude, congratulations. That's the that's the new one too. On the on the oyster. Wow. Wowzers, man. Oh. Congratulations. I, I think Bear has one as well. If I if I'm not mistaken, Bear, uh, is this the one is is this 100th episode? Yeah, it is. It is. Like 100 episodes in one month? No, no. It's just in total. In total. It's like three, maybe four months. Yeah, we've been doing this for, for, for a long time now. Time just flies. It's crazy. And we got Mr. GMT. How's it going, sir? How are you going, guys? How are you going? I'll just come on quickly because I'm, I'm very busy today. Just to but say congratulations for 100 episodes, man. man. <laughs> Thank and you, thank you. you. And to say to you, I told you so. Man, it wouldn't, you know we wouldn't have been here if it wasn't from, you know, your push. You pushed us from oh. the beginning. You gave us that initial, that inertia. You know, you, you got us jump started. Yeah, because I had a good feeling about you guys, and I still do. I'm really happy for all of you. And, uh, you know, you put a lot of hard work and effort into this. And um, you, you guys will deserve whatever you get. From here on, and I mean the passages that we receive. Um, but I've got to run. I just thought I'd come quickly on and just uh, congratulate. Uh, just before you leave, to, yeah. before you leave, I have a question for you. Are you are you going to be on Mr. Two's place tomorrow? What's the how's the timing? Or are you busy? Tomorrow, no, tomorrow I will be. Yes, I will be. Oh, yeah, very good, very good, very good. So I'll see you on Mr. Two's place. Uh, is this about the main? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I won't be doing anything like that. You saw, you saw what happened last time. <laughs> I, it was a disaster. No, I saw you. And you know, when as it was happening, I was visualizing the event, and I retold yeah. people like I saw, like it. You know, it was the hype train was leaving. And I saw you running behind the train with your credit cards, kind of fumbling, <laughs> and then you trip, and all the cards went flying. <laughs> You know, onto the train tracks. Oh, it was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> it was all in my mind. When I saw you fall down, I was like, oh, I have to try. I have to try. <laughs> so I jumped for the second card. I knew I couldn't get the first one. So I jumped for the second one. I just barely. Uh, you, you done well. You done well. All of you did. Uh, how are the boys going? Just quickly before I go. All good? All as well, Mr. GMT. How are you? Nice good Good, good, good. Busy, busy. Um, all right, I've got to run. Also, are you coming on tomorrow, Marco, as well? Most likely, yes. And now the boys coming on. Hopefully, we get a good crowd up. Crowd hey, coming what's on. going on, Mr. GMT? Good, brother. Yourself? Uh, I'm pain, man. I'm about to. I'm, I'm about to leave myself because I gotta. I gotta go to CBS and just get some stuff. All right, okay. You gotta but, do what uh, you gotta do. But uh. Evening, everybody. I'm going to catch you all later. All right? Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care, brother. All right, guys. I've got to run to you. Um, like I said, congratulations. It's, it's been an awesome ride so far, and I'm still looking forward to what's in the future for all of us. Um, hey, we're, one, we're, we're, we're one community here, so we're really looking forward to it. Mm, Take we're going to keep guys. pumping at it, keep going, keep That's moving it. forward. That's it. We'll talk to you later. Take care, Thank boys. you. Thank you yeah. so much, right. and oh my God, What's Jason that? Zebra three with one hundred oh, pounds. Jesus. Jesus. 
Christ, a hundred pounds. What's that in? That's a sick God. guitar, too. That's a really nice oh, guitar. Jeez. Oh, man. See, Is that's that a, what I mean. I think it's a Fender Stratocaster. What a legend. Hold on. My brother Take care, me. boys. Hey, Mr. GNT. We'll see you tomorrow on Mr. Two's see Place. See you then. Take care, wow. Mr. GNT. Congratulations. Uh, Tim on the 100th episode only really got into watches in the last 18 months and you Marco JJ AC3 are great entertainment in the watch community Jason thank you so much uh, we trying to do our best trying to set people on the right track this is why I joined uh, Archie because uh, you know I I really respect him uh, and the community so we want to grow it and make it stronger. Thank you so much. Wow, what a legend. Amazing. Woo. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Jason. We He's a member as well. Kind of feedback. Yeah, that's awesome. My God. Hey, man, if you need any advice, any tips, just contact me. You know you know how to find me. Of course, of course. What a it's cool It's crazy, guy. Tim. What? Like, man. what? has happened like over i want to say since when pretty much december we all started kind of joining along i, I mean I, I joined i think man i yeah it's like december, december something January, december around that time right yeah I mean, what we've achieved in such a short time is pretty much all thanks to all the incredible viewers you know what i mean so oh yeah shout oh, out yeah. to you guys it's really really cool it's awesome oh and logan hall says it's a gibson les yeah. paul I wasn't sure. I always get confused between the two. My brother loves guitars. That's why uh, I should know these things. You know, my wife, when she came to United States, this is the dumbest thing about about this situation. I have a guitar in the fucking closet right now, right? And I don't know how. I, she doesn't know how to fucking play it. I don't know how to fucking play it. And she got this guitar. Because she was depressed, and it was before she met me. She, when she came to the United States, she she said that she felt just like one day she just felt like shit, and she just went out and got the guitar for like no reason. And we never learned how to play the goddamn thing. You want me to bring it to show you? Wait, wait. I, I let me let me go try to find it. Just a second. Just, just sure. I'll just be right back. You just just talk about Ming. No <laughs> I'll worries, be right back. No uh, two two seconds. I'm surprised these Mings look great, guys. I'm telling you, I've seen some pictures on Instagram. Um, Obviously, the the owner of the company has posted pictures in sunlight. They look fantastic. I can't wait to get the main that I bought. I think that that kind of guilloche type pattern is going to look so cool. I can't wait to get it. It's going to be amazing. Amazing. Here it is. Look at this. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I, I don't know sh shite about guitars. Okay, I have no idea about guitars. Uh, let me actually do it like this, side by side. It's a Gibson. I don't know what that means. So it's a good brand. Gibson is an amazing brand, as far as I know. Gibson and Fender are probably the two best. Yeah. Whew. Okay. Very cool. I think uh, I don't know how much she paid for it, but it looks expensive because it's heavy. <laughs> I don't. I don't know anything about it. I just know I, I don't know how to play these things. I probably should get a teacher or something just for, and learn how just for fun. There you go. That doesn't look cheap, Tim. That looks like right. a good guitar. Right? That's what I'm saying. You guys Holy don't know how to play that with that? I know. It's, a, it's a crime. It's, it's a crime that I don't know how to play this thing. Look. Strum it for us. <laughs> Dude, it's not. It's completely. <laughs> what, what? I don't even know how to. <laughs> oh, I don't even fucking like, know if I'm, I might be holding it upside down. You realize this? I I don't know how it even. No, I think I think I got it the right the right way. But look at, at the sticker is still on. There is a sticker. On the, on the Tim, thing. Those probably go for good money too. That's the worst part. So if you don't know how to play, you can probably resell it for good money. 
You need to find out what model it is. I don't even know how to find out. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I gotta <laughs> be honest. It's just this is this is just a funny thing. Yeah, let me let, let me let me put it away. <laughs> yeah, let's put it away. <laughs> you, okay. what I probably need to do is uh, <clears throat> it it needs an amp too. Uh, no, I we have an amp, but uh, what I what I need to do is to take it to the guitar shop have it put put in the new strings i guess because it's been sitting in the closet for like six months mm. right oh I no six, six months to... six years what am i saying oh, six months geez. yeah I don't yeah know about six... that. <laughs> maybe more maybe more it's like i don't think the the strings have been changed in the past 10 or 12 years it's like 12 years old yeah i don't you... know if it's good that's the strings are good or not yeah, probably need to change the strings, and then uh, change the strings, and then take some lessons. You know, I mean, you, know you can what I mean? learn off YouTube. You could probably learn off YouTube. I think so. Probably, probably, right? Yeah. And so, but he has the Gibson Les Paul. So this is also some kind of Gibson. Yeah, I think it's the same same model. It's just like a it's a Les Paul. It's just there's different. Mm -hmm. uh, variations to it and different I yeah I know yeah. I, I don't know that much yeah when I look in the image right so it's got those four knobs but his is just has a really beautiful uh like this yeah you know, the mine's just black plastic yeah but his is just prop you know art it's it's a, it's a piece of art so very cool very cool this is like David Brand moment <laughs> Uh, Archie's path is zigzag, but he's a combo of customer advocates, luxury goods, gurus, and whiz. I mean, this is uh, this is kind of what it's all about. I feel like I'm trying to I'm trying to expand. Uh, I'm gonna start making some fragrance stuff because we do like to talk about fragrances and bring in more people into community and kind of, you know, Archie has this problem. Uh, he turns off a lot of customers. Like they, he, they don't give him a chance. Uh, I think, and I, I can't, I can't understand why. Like, unless you give him a chance, you can quickly kind of tune it out and yeah. don't get all the benefit that that he he gives. And I feel like, man, kind of taking. If people can come come to my show and then they can see, oh. We're here, and then they can go to Archie, and then we'll, they will be able to kind of give him more, give him a second shot, maybe. I think uh, like this way we can grow not just Archie's channel, but together we we can make something something bigger, more important. Because those freaking wankers, uh, the timepiece gentlemen, those guys, they're just taking advantage of the community, and I don't like it. I don't like where it's going. You know what I mean? Right. <clears throat> 100%. Logan. Mm. And Logan Hall says, Tim, I play guitar and bass. You can learn how to play from YouTube videos within a few weeks of practice. But do you guys think I need to go and have it restrung? I need to probably restring it, no? Yeah, probably. I mean, tuning is not that hard. You can probably download a tuner on your phone and what have you. I don't even know what tuning does. You know what I mean? Yeah, you need to tune your instrument 100%. Mm. You turn like the knob at the top. What's there? Jason says it looks like an ep one. Cool. He, he clarifies this epiphone guitar. Ah, epiphone guitar. Gibson equivalent to tutor. Ah, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's I that's good. That's good. <laughs> right? That I think that's no, that's nothing to sneeze at. You have a tutor, that's that's like <gasps> that's a really good guitar. Holy shit. I think Man, it's he's right, Tim. I just looked at it. I think this is exactly your guitar. Yeah? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Can you bring it up? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Hold on. Uh, Dodger's so funny. Please, 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 please don't make us listen to Archie playing guitar. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks... Yep, with the little shield. 
and it's just just black there you go yeah something like this you could change that the plastic thing right i'm pretty sure oh that that little shield yeah you can change that so yeah you can probably change it to any color oh want, yeah because right cool. there in the other picture it's white right hmm very interesting very cool i wonder man i really need to like if i need a good playlist though to learn, learn secretly how. tim and then just serenade your wife one day. <laughs> imagine that'd oh be funny. that'd be so cool right right only play while she's not there or yeah yeah and then just take and just go <laughs> i don't think that's how it works but <laughs> <laughs> Uh, THX one one three eight C totally right Tim. Don't know why Archie doesn't have more viewers. His uh, reviewers are not only good, they're entertaining. The vid on Brumont was real. Yeah, yeah. It is. I, I, I just feel like I remember. Actually, my wife did not used to like Archie either. It's just that people have to watch a certain amount of episodes in order to understand the humor. It, it's on because it's so there's so many in jokes uh, that Archie has. There's so many in jokes that unless you are part of the community, you might not understand like what is even happening. Right. So until you watch certain episodes, oh, you know what? I even I I think you know what? I think we need to make a playlist of must see Archie's videos, and then when the newbies come we we have we can say like look if you're gonna watch archie these are the episodes that you need to see otherwise you're just not gonna get it you're just not gonna understand what the hell is happening because it's a rabbit hole let's be honest it's a it's a complete rabbit hole once you're in you want to watch every single episode hmm oh yeah and the headstock gives it away yep it looks ex the headstock is exactly same yeah man I need to learn how to play guitar. That'd be so cool. I thought Archie played piano. Yeah, he a piano and I think one of those flute looking things. <laughs> how to get a job in civil service. Oh my god. There's one about like dating advice on how how to get away, how not to get caught. It's the did, did you did, uh, Marco, did you see that episode? What episode are we talking? It's like how how to have a romantic relationship with other women while you are. Oh yeah, on. and not get caught. Yeah, that was the oh, most was... insane thing ever. It's so funny. It's so funny. I think it, it like I it almost killed me. I was on, watching it on the train, and I just started laughing uncontrollably. And that's kind of what happens. Uh, kind of thing that happens. Ever watch the time. movie, the Archie mm. Luxury movie? Ooh, that's hard. Like I think until you watched uh, like fifty episodes, you shouldn't watch the movie. Yeah, don't watch You're the movie. Not gonna until get it. At yeah, at least yeah, exactly. It's not gonna get it. Yeah, it's gonna be a complete turn off because you'll be like, what? What is happening? How do you? Yeah, but uh, hey, 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 uh, Marco, what is the best? Full gold Rolex. Let's let's have a debate. Full gold ro Rolex. Does the bracelet have to be gold also? Mm, yes. Ooh, Full gold. Okay. Um, I mean, the obvious pick is Daytona, but I think I would go... Because you know I like GMT the best, right? Mm -hmm. GMT is my favorite watch Rolex. Yeah. I'd probably go the root beer. Solid gold, rose gold root beer. Ooh, solid gold root beer. Yeah, so that's probably my favorite. Mm. Damn. I mean, you can even take the meteorite Pepsi, but obviously that one's a bit crazy. To get. But if I if I was like not a mega client, you know, I couldn't go yeah. for a meteorite Pepsi. I'd probably get this. Yeah, mm. this is my favorite. Raj G five dollars super chat. Who are the eighteen down votes? Uh, oh yeah, well, you know what? That's <laughs> probably one guy. <laughs> as right. far as we know, right? <laughs> it's a one guy. <laughs> It's so funny, you know. But yeah, uh, guys, if you're watching the show, please don't forget to like, comment, you know, the usual thing. Uh, you know, uh, for me, I like, what's it called? 
I like the two tones so much more in uh, in by color that actually full gold root beer kind of uh, to me it's like less beautiful like when when when, the, when comparing these two just because you know have uh, like trying this one on uh, the the two tone just it, it's just so beautiful uh, that. I'm actually kind of it, to me it feels like it's a step down. Um actually, you know what? I think for me it would be actually the bluesy. The the full gold bluesy. I I know I don't know why, but after having, you know, after playing around with that uh what's it called? Uh with the watch that I have, right? Uh that I'm holding on to for a friend. Yeah. Ah, oh, my God. The blue. Yeah, that's a nice know, watch, too. Right? That is so insane. I mean, and I just, the only problem with it is, like, I feel like, oh, it's not really worth the money. Because, to like, to me, the, the full gold is more beautiful in the Submariner. But I just don't, don't see... I, I, I cannot justify the the price difference right but it's also tim it's like what is it thirty five thousand? how much is it 37 37 thousand usd yeah. right that's yeah. a lot of watch you can get for 37 that's 000. what i'm saying <laughs> you know you, you know can get I mean? two two-tone watches you can right. i can get a two-tone bluesy and a two-tone root beer <gasps> right that's insane well, I think that's a way. That's a better way to go, because the two tones they hit so hard. Even though I find the the full gold more beautiful, I think, dude, there's no you can't be two two tones versus just one full gold. What do you guys think? One full gold watch or two two tone watches? No, How would you go? Two two tone. Watches. Two two tones. It just makes right. sense, right? Right, but I mean, the the whole point is, you want to choose what your favorite kind of solid gold. Rolex, right? Mm, yeah. So if you're yeah. choosing a solid gold Rolex, I, I mean, you can't go wrong with anything, to be honest with you. Daytona yeah. sub, GMT. What else is solid gold? There's Skydweller, right? Comes in solid, uh, in solid gold. There is. I mean, even in the sub, Tim, there's the blueberry, right? Yes, the, the, the white gold. Right, the white gold. The thing is, though, with the white gold, it's just, I don't know, I'm not... I'm not really yeah, feeling. It's a, it's a little bit. I don't think it even counts as a as a gold piece right, <laughs> in some exactly. way, right? Because white gold is just a little bit weird. Yeah. For a full like gold watch, you know what I mean? Because mm. it's, it's the antithesis of a gold, full gold watch because it's under the radar gold. If yeah. You a full gold watch. There's that like fight off element that you want to, you know, you want to kind of put off, but I don't know. Mm. Yeah. The. The the Fikov element, you know, at that point, I feel like, you know, my mom actually really likes the Cellini. That one is nice. I mean, the Moonface Cellini is gorgeous. She Not the other this one. one. So she's right, got she's got that the uh, she's got that what's that watch called the the the, the Cartier Solo, the right? Mm -hmm. The Santos. No, the, sorry, the, she's got the tank, the tank solo. The tank yeah. solo, the tank solo, yeah. And uh, I was like. What what about because uh, my dad right, he's got the fifty one ninety six, the right. full gold, and I was telling her like yo what what do you think about she so she wanted like a full gold watch, she's just asking like what 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 kind of full gold watches are there? And I showed her Bell and Blue and she's like ah eh, it's okay and then I showed her this one she's like ooh it's beautiful she really likes the hand and the blue moon. Yeah, Rolex also doesn't do like blued steel a lot, and that hand is uh, blued steel. Mm. Oh. All I know that they do is they're they're dated, right? The press, the platinum dated. Oh, not anymore. They do blued steel. Oh, just yeah, yeah not yeah, anymore. They, yeah, I think just the second hand, right? Right. Used to be the whole thing was, all the indices were blued. Right. Yeah, now it's just one, just a hand. Wow. Hmm. Actually, Spence asked a good question. 
Yes, uh-huh. right. We can get to it in a uh-huh. second. You know, Rolex movements, Tim, are they mm-hmm. modular? Like, is the Daytona movement modular, the sub movement modular? I actually never thought about it. I don't think they are. No. But it's possible, right? Are you saying, like... Uh, so, like, the- for example, there there will be, like, an automatic movement, and you can add a chronograph module to it. You know what I mean? Hmm. I don't think... I don't actually- think, it, I don't think yeah. they are. No, you know no. why? Because I think the only thing that changed was... Didn't they add? They added some kind of. Um, the main difference was the new what's it called? Um, escapement. So the, there's the new escapement, mm-hmm. which allowed for less friction between the parts, and I'm pretty sure it allowed them also to add the another barrel, which allowed for the 70 hour power reserve. But I don't think they're they're modular movements, as far as I know. The seventy-hour power reserve uh, movements are tw- twin barrel. I don't I'm think pretty so. sure they are, aren't they? No, no, I don't they're think they're not so. twin barrel. No, jeez, now I'm messed up. Hold on, Dude, what the hell? Up. Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to bring up uh, two submariners, one with date and one with the other, without a date, and even for a date versus no date, they're using different movements. It's not like they have a date module. Um, let's see. 70 hours of power reserve. Uh, function oscillators. I mean, they, they don't say this stuff in the... Like, if it's a twin barrel. I don't think it's a twin barrel. I, uh, yeah, no, it's not. It's, it's not. not. I'm, I'm looking yeah. at it now. Yeah. You know why I think it's not twin barrel? It's just from Rolex's perspective. If I was like Rolex, right? I wouldn't want twin barrel because, uh, first of all, they can get it accurate enough with single barrel, right? So you start from from there. And then if you have two, that's going to be uh, more difficult to service. There's two points of failure. Same thing with modules. With modules, uh, modular movements, they're more likely to fail. Than every that that if it's like a move individual movement from ground up, I think like for example like thirty two this this movement thirty two thirty five and thirty two thirty. If we look at the images here side by side, they they no, look no, bloody identical. I I know where where I got mixed up. So the the escapement it's the Chrono Energy escapement, but it has a double escape wheel. Uh-huh. Right? That's where I got mixed up. So it has a double escape wheel. But you're right, it's one barrel. But mm-hmm. it's a thinner, thinner uh, barrel, which allows for a longer mainspring, which huh. is what allows it to have a, a longer power reserve. There you go. Ah, you see, really clever, really clever. Wow. Yeah, like it's just doesn't but yeah, sound... everything else is the same. The beat rate is the same. The size is the same. Uh, wow. Actually, no, there's a lot of stuff that's different. But... <laughs> Well, I mean, like the the thing with the with the Rolex movements. I mean, they 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 might not be pretty, but oh, I wonder if there's like a video of somebody opening it up, like this caliber thirty two thirty. Let's let's actually try to. Yeah, I have a picture of it right here. Inside, let's see. I'm reading the article. Oh, open it up. Let's take a look. At, ooh, three, one, two, there we go. This is a three two three five. Yeah, thirty two thirty five. Okay. Let's let's dig in. Let's see. I, I, do they show? Did, are they take? Do they take it apart? Yeah. So they do a comparison. So three, ah, one, okay, five, okay. Three, two, three, five. Uh, same frequency. It looks like they found the perfect frequency, and they're like they're not going yeah. to twenty eight eight. I think is what four hertz, three hertz, mm-hmm. four. No, it's four hertz, which is pretty standard. Mm-hmm. And what is the escapement? What does it say about escapement? Swiss the lever escapement. Is, oh yeah. And the new one? Yeah, Swiss lever is the, the traditional escapement, mm-hmm. but the Chrono Energy has like a third hand, and mm-hmm. apparently it allows for, for reduced friction between parts. It's a lot it's a lot less uh lot and it requires a lot less lubricants than the Swiss lever escapement, so it's a little bit better. Ah, so it's like that what what is that biker uh the omega using movement? Oh the coaxial. Right? Yeah, the, so this is like their version of a coaxial, 
Right. right, but not not coaxial. Right. Hmm. Because coaxial, like it looks great, but it it looks like like the idea of it sounds great, but you look at it and it just looks like it, it's gonna be uh, prone to failure. Mm. Well, one thing one thing that Austin Daniels brought up on his stream, which I was surprised mm. he knew about, was coaxial escapement watches don't actually require lubricants mm -hmm. and omega lubricates their watches so so in essence there's like that that obsolescence already built into an omega watch because they add lubricants to it so it's going to need to be serviced even though it doesn't require lubricants but yeah it's like they took the patent and instead like like there's the technology they fixed right? it so that they could take financial advantage of it basically. right right so the, <laughs> it's it's like it's like uh if somebody invented a car that can run on water right and the company just buys the technology but then converts it so it needs some gasoline to to run it just to just as an f you you know what yeah we we got the tech you can't use the tech nobody else can use it because we got the the patents and we're not we're actually not going to produce cars that actually run on water right like that's the that's the idea just as an f you because we want to make money off of you later in servicing right. amazing amazing it's just such a nasty thing to do cooler things that tim needs a drum set to annoy the bike out of his name by the way uh, me yell oh, i only have one neighbor and he is always playing fox news full blast and uh i'm arguing with uh with the fellow riser full blast so i think we're even <laughs> besides that i don't think i have uh not that many neighbors there's always there's also like some kind of discotheque above me so they deserve whatever whatever they get. Uh, cool if you Archie's Archie amazing videos. How to get an extra service at the massage? Wait, there's actually a video like that. I think I must have missed it. That's so good. TS, look up the Rolex Siloxi hair spring. Only yeah, available. A what? I can share. I can, I'm looking at it now. Uh -huh. I was wondering what it is. It's actually pretty cool. So it's a it's a silicon hairspring, which makes it totally anti-magnetic, which is why oh. he says it'll probably be added to the milgas range, which wouldn't surprise me, but I don't see why they wouldn't add it to everything. Maybe maybe that's... So he sa he's saying that it's only available on women's model currently. Maybe Rolex is not making that many women's watches. And they're putting it in there as a way to test the technology. And if it's good, yeah. you know, once they have enough quote unquote victims testing these things, maybe they'll they'll put it into other watches. I mean that's a that's a possibility, right? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, it's like a test market, right? It's like a test yeah. market in marketing. Same thing. Yeah. And do these women they don't even know. And Rolex is waiting until these watches come back for service to see how these uh, hairsprings are holding up. The only thing is, is that um, like silicon long term is actually not mm. great uh, for a while. Like I'm talking about like, you know, like 50 plus years down the road because eventually those parts will need to be replaced. Mm -hmm. And it can be, uh, I don't know, a little bit detrimental. Let's just put it that way. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure Rolex must have tested it if uh, they're gonna add silicon to it. I mean, they tested it internally, but there's all like there's so many different things that are that can like, go when wrong, you're testing right? it in the lab. It's completely different than when testing it in the real world, right? Right, hundred percent. Uh, Bear says, uh, "Boys, I am very disappointed with the lack of knowledge tonight." Well, no, that's... We're learning. We're learning just like learning as we go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're all we learning everything. together. We never claim to be watch experts. You know what I mean? Right. We're not Archie. We're not trying to compete. That's Archie's territory, right? 
listen, when it comes, I, I know mostly about independence because that's what that's what mm. I enjoy reading about. Not this mm. Rolex hair springs. I'm like, ah, eh, who cares? You know what mm. I mean? But it is cool to find out what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, me, I'm more of a critical thinker. I'm just asking questions and uh, answering questions in a way that uh, I think kind of makes makes sense. And uh, so yes. this caliber has it's the two two three six. Uh huh. I'm imagine I imagine it's for the the women's watch, but it has the this nickel phosphorus escape wheel, enhancing its resistant magnetic and with a mainspring developed in house, and increases the power reserved to approximately fifty five hours, providing the movement with more constant supply of energy. That's pretty cool. Oh. I mean, that looks that looks kind of legit to be honest with you. Wow. You know that's the that's the kind of thing that rolls us. It's like it does. It, they're not reinventing the wheel, right? They they're, just do little upgrades, little tweaks. They're up. They're reinvent. They're they're upgrading the parts that made the wheel already perfect. Like the wheel is already perfect. You just need to like, oh, which materials are we make? You know, are we using to make this wheel? Oh, can we make this better? Can we make that better? And uh, yeah. Instead of just scrapping everything and starting from scratch, like those Daniels uh, stuff, who knows? Like this stuff might sound amazing today, but we don't know what's gonna happen in a couple of years. Ooh, and Finchy with a four four pound super chat, happy one hundred show, Tim. Thank you so much, Finchy. Really appreciate it. Amazing. Yeah. Oh my God, I thought. Uh, I thought they only made ladies day just. That's all the AD. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's all they have. <laughs> that and oyster perpetuals. Oh my god. Man. Lady lady awful. oyster perpetuals, yeah. The last time I went there were six watches, all ladies watches, like thirty two, mm. thirty six, like just small. Mm. Wow. I felt like telling him, here, can I try this one on? She says, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Sheesh. Uh, I mean, it's tough. It's tough being Rolex because you don't know what the hell to do. I mean, if you, they make too many, then people will be, you know, the existing customers will be disappointed if they make too little, then... Uh, you know, and I think like a lot of people want that. They want to go in and and look and look at the scarcity and say, oh, "Look at these! Th there's nothing here." Right. It's a delicate it's balance. Fun. Yeah. It's a delicate. And Tim S says, "When is Cars and Chrono review uh, collection I'm review?" Actually, that tomorrow. Oh, your yours is tomorrow. Yeah, I'm filming it tomorrow. I'm gonna release it tomorrow. Oh, very nice, very nice. Mine is gonna be probably somewhere next week. Um, I he sent me a really nice uh, name of all his watch, so I don't have to kind of double check everything. Cause right. uh, yeah. Well, he sent us a uh, an email right just, with all yeah. the yeah mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah, I I asked him for that. I was like, yeah, man, you know, I I really need the because I don't want to mess mess up the the numbers because I think you know, I'm not that knowledgeable. Yeah. I, think I have some great suggestions. Hmm. Exactly, exactly. I was actually, I was going to film a video today, and then I was kind of like, I was kind of thinking about how I want to, because I have this idea, this crazy idea, and it's all because of the Timeless Watch channel, about having a theme, a theme, kind of a, a storyline behind the watch uh, reviews. So I'm gonna try to do something like that. So have some kind of storyline, you know, like actually, like so that that all my video reviews they're connected somehow with some kind of plot B, and nobody knows. Like, oh, you know, people have to watch from A from from the first episode to the next one to see what's happening, like in the background. Hello, Conrad. How's it going? Good. How are you guys? Just kind of. Relaxing, waiting for Archie to start his stream, enjoying uh, time with the punters. Uh, yeah, just trying to, to be stress-free, stress-free. Yeah, so 
uh, you guys were just speaking about a uh, timeless watch channel, right? Yes, 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 yes. So I, I did, I never heard of him until he came onto Archie's show. Ooh. And then I went back and uh, went through all of his, not all of his videos, but a lot of them. There's a lot of videos, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And man, his channel is pure class. It's, such it's amazing, isn't it? Right. It's incredible. Yeah. That, that's why me making like videos, I, he inspired me so, so much to actually put more thought into my re white reviewers, not to just go out and bank something out. But actually, but it's hard work. It's hard work. So Tim, Bear sent me this meme. He wanted me to show it, but it's actually funny. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. Here we go. It's loading. Uh oh. I don't care so, about resell. Okay, you you read it. Right. No, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I don't care about resale value. I buy Rolex because of their quality and history. Girlfriend, I just heard Rolex will be ramping up productions to meet the <laughs> demand <laughs> by the way can i drop the link for the cap oh my god oh, that is funny <laughs> that's like when the stock market crashed a lot of people were kind of you know on the ledge on the ledge had to be held back just tim masa can talk about movements in under two minutes yeah, but he's been studying watches for like 20, like he's been in the business, what, 10, 20 years at this point? I yeah. mean, we've been here five minutes, you know what I mean? Give us five a little minutes, bit of little. <laughs> also, also, I don't know, it, it, it doesn't make for a fun show, just because somebody knows everything about movements, it doesn't make it for a fun show, you know what I mean? Actually, I find it's better when we learn with the viewers. You know right. I mean? Like, we're surprised. Like, did you know this thing? No fucking way. Dude, what the fuck? And it makes a show educational rather than somebody lecturing you. Yeah, you know right, I mean? right. It's like a boring lecture. A, he's like a university probably saying, okay, this is what you need to remember. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this reminds me of a story. Like, I had this economics class in college. And you know how in movies there's always, like, students falling asleep in class? <laughs> and I didn't think that was real, cause, cause for oh, what happened? in college, like, like I, 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 I had like this idea, I was like, dude, this, this is impossible. Nobody ever falls asleep. This is just fiction. It's a movie fiction. And I couldn't believe how boring this guy was. So I brought my friend to say, like, dude, dude, you have to see this class. He's so boring. I bring my friend in, cause I was just playing video games in the class. I couldn't like, I couldn't hold it. And my friend was like, what you talking about? It's not that boring. Ten minutes later, <laughs> the loudest snore. <laughs> the whole auditorium <laughs> like he turned around <laughs> to see this. <laughs> I had to like, yo, what the hell, man? I turned around. I turned to my game. For five minutes, and you you make this loudest snore of your lifetime. He's like, "I gotta get out, man! I gotta get out of here." So yeah. Oh, that's hilarious! <laughs> Hello, Captain. How's it going? Oh, look at that! The look French at cut, man. Captain the looking sunglasses? sharp. I like it. <laughs> Back from the city. I heard that joke. That was funny. Yeah, man. This. <laughs> Oh, Four out, three hours of traffic, man. I got to tell you, it's Ooh. out of control. Oh. Coming, coming back was just so. I stayed there as long as I could. Enjoyed Wait, the so sunshine. You went to NYC wearing a tuna. What are you doing with the tuna on the wrist? Yeah, you know this was a tough call because I was meeting a uh, kind of a client. Uh, mm. oh, okay, yeah, you don't want to. Right. Yeah, I mean, I had on, I had on the two tone. I kept switching back and forth. I'm like, you know what? That's why you need. Whatever it is, whatever mm -hmm. beater, whether it's a tutor or something mm -hmm. else, like you just, it's so hot out that this is great. Yeah. On the NATO. Captain, you know what you do? Go. Just increase your fees on the fly and say, well, <laughs> yeah. listen, I'm just wearing a tuna. You know what I mean? I'm just a lowly lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. You, 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 just for you, I make cool, special cooler price. Fiend, special cooler price. Fiend would appreciate this because because we, uh, we had a chat last night, I guess, in the uh, – uh, the discord and um I, weren't you saying cooler fiend uh, that uh there was a, a friend of yours who had a large house appreciation oh no that was spence saying that okay all right so i have a story that, that uh, i don't want to reveal any names but 
okay. this 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 gentleman and his his with his wife have a house in California. I think it's near Santa Barbara. Like mm. they bought it like two or three years ago. In one direction, you could see the mountains, and in the other direction, you could see the ocean. Not bad, right? So it's got great views and this and that. Nice. And he, and he goes, and he also has a place in Manhattan. You know, not bad. So he goes, yeah, I just heard. He goes, I might sell the house in California. I said, oh, really? He said, yeah. They said, uh, I guess a brokerage service or whoever he spoke to said it went from five to eight. And I'm thinking to myself, all right, I know, you know, we had worked with this guy on some transactions, like, and I know that uh, he's doing fairly well for himself. So I'm thinking in my head, I said, that's, you know, an M, right? It's not 500,000 or 800,000. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's Especially like Santa Barbara, California. And he goes, yeah, it's 5 million to 8 million. Now I know there's people who are going to, you know, have 30, 50, $100 million homes, but I was like, yeah. holy Fike, can you imagine that on appreciation for homes in like a especially two at the uh at the luxury level right i mean it's just absurd um so who knows what'll happen but just wow. uh anecdotal story and i'm sitting there thinking i hope you i'm thinking i hope he's paying for lunch <laughs> you know <laughs> I came I out thinking I got I'm wearing, the, wrong I'm wearing the tuna, the shooter. Oh, I did. We had that yeah. conversation. Trust me. Um, what was he wearing? You know, I, I, I did. I did take a look. I wish I took a photo of it. Damn it. Um, I don't think it was anything special. You know, like I'm, I, I couldn't tell you. I, you what? know, he. Oh, you know what? No, I'm put. No, I know what it was. OK, because we had a conversation. Thanks, Tim. You're, you're the question master. Oh, by there the way, go. before I forget. Congratulations on a hundred episode one hundred. I had to come on for one hundred because yeah, I don't know what you're doing. Show too. But we're that'll be one hundred one. So even yeah. if no, I no. Ha hopped on, it's a hundred. One hundred point five. Okay. All right. So it's it's all a hundred. All right. I get it. I get it. It's so congratulations for a hundred. Well done. You know, great show. You're a great host, yeah. uh, and and we've become friends in this community, which you've built. You're building and doing a tremendous job. And uh, great many many um more to come oh yeah in the road down the road so i just wanted to get that out but um he was wearing an, he was wearing an apple watch i know what yeah 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 Ow. i was so disappointed so you disappointed. just posted for 6 45 all right so we're good. uh yeah so we're gonna do another I, I said, 10 minutes i basically was like that wouldn't fly in the community i said we don't mm -hmm. even we don't even <laughs> no, discuss an Apple Watch. Well, I mean, you could have one, but you know, it's not like we're going to talk about. Oh, your blood pressure is checked and blah blah it's blah. Shitter. Yeah, I mean, it's not a watch. It's a it's a little risky. It's a wristwatch toy. It ain't wristwatch. A Bruce Wayne, that's for sure. no, but it did get me into watches. I guess that's true. Uh, I had the first, first, first generation of them. They were so crappy. I wonder if they're uh, collectible now. No. <laughs> they're not even uh, now. They're not even. Uh, no, well, you know, if you keep first generation of anything, mm -hmm. especially yeah, Apple but, products, like first gen iPhone is actually very valuable today. Box and papers. If you have it, box and papers. But this yeah. is a collectible item. Yeah, exactly. Museum piece. Museum piece. But <laughs> I mean, I think there were so many of those. You know, the, when they first released that first generation, they had also gold versions. What a disaster that was! Oh my god. Ten thousand dollars for a gold Apple Watch, and I think there were people who bought them. Can you can you imagine? Like I understand gold luxury watches because at least you can service them, but you can't like you can't service the first generation Apple Watch. They didn't. It's not like they designed that first generation in, to be in a way that you know they can they can change the screen, change the battery, right? It's just right it's crazy yeah i mean the wa those it's watches it's it's right it's uh what do they call it when the uh product that they make over time it's uh, obsolescence um yeah. planned, planned obsolescence planned obsolescence planned. right mm. so in a couple of years it won't work you'll have to upgrade software but i mean technically you can have an apple watch and keep it for 10 years and i'm sure it'll do almost everything that the newer versions mm. would do 10 10 is pushing it all right all right five 
<laughs> yeah, right, you go. See how I back off, you know? It's easy to like negotiate with me. Oh, look at this. <laughs> we have a really good question from Knight West Watchman with a five pound super chat. Tim and Marco, if you were on YouTube in five years, which channel would you most like to be most like? Well, I guess I guess he's saying like from the current Wistwatch YouTubers, what are we going to be uh, like? Mm. Marco, what do you think? What do you think? How, how do you want to? What, Man, kind of, who knows? what kind of YouTuber do you want to be? That's an interesting question, actually. Yeah. Um, anything but timepiece gentleman, that's for sure. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, the way I look at timepiece gentleman, it's just like he, he is taking, uh, he is monetizing his business in the new, in the new way. You know, like, it, 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 like, because if you think about it, for example, you can have a pizzeria store. Oh, I'm just giving it as an example. You can have a deli, right? And you can create a YouTube channel that follows day-to-day -day life of that deli store owner, or whatever. So right. He just has a watch business. He's just like, you know what? We can add another, another like section to this to to my business. Just another source of revenue, right? Like, right. he can he can like if I had a store, right, a physical location, right. I would have a YouTube channel that follows the events of this uh, uh, location. Then I'll have T-shirts, all kinds of uh, merch, merch, right? I don't know. Like, uh, I, I, but, but I, I think uh, for me, what would that, what, what kind of thing I would like to be in five years? Well, my plan would be to do these streams when I cannot go outside, uh, and I would want to expand expand meaning i would prepare for the show i would do like uh maybe we'll have parts maybe one hour watch talk two hour of just youtube reviews uh maybe even you know what i would like to do other wristwatch youtubers release videos and we watch them together on the stream as they come out you know what i mean yeah and just 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 watch the YouTube videos together and just yeah, make but Tim, fun. Yeah, in five years, who knows what's going to happen? You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to be working in the watch industry. In five, in five years, years, there's going to be so yeah. many wristwatch YouTubers, but in, I'm going to be the first one who's watching these these videos and reviewing them live and doing like reaction kind of yeah. kind of live reaction. Gonna be like, you know, I, I just want to do this uh, kind of full time. I, I would do this for six hours a day. I could do. I think I could do six hours a day. Two or three you know, hours to prepare. Yes. You know what's funny? Five years ago, there was mm -hmm. barely a, a a watch genre on YouTube. Yep. It was just was... TGV. Um, TGV and who else? Archie. Yeah, and Archie. Watch and... Box or Watch You One at the time. There was that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very a sparse. Blog to watch, I think there was too. What, what is kind? It a what blog kind to of watch or is the other one? In five years, uh, Paul Celestia says, in five, uh, in five, <laughs> Archie is retiring and Michael Parker takes over. Yeah. Well, maybe Tim will take over. Who knows? You know what I cardinal, mean? Cardinal. The Cardinal. By the way, you know, you know what I was thinking? Dude, I, okay. Now, I'm going to say this is a joke. It's going to be a joke. Understand it, but it's a joke that's not a joke. Marco, what do you think about this? We open up a church. That's right. A church? A rich wise, a first. A church of horology. You you know to qualify as a church in you know, <laughs> you like that right? Think of the tax incentives. Right, exactly. Uh, he, he is a he is a cardinal. He is a cardinal because we have a cardinal. We have the text, the uh, lu luxury to last. That's our that's our Bible. Like, Bible text, right? Yeah, holy that's text. the first testament. I'll write the second testament, the coming of Tim, or whatever. Right, like we have our own mythology. We can have now. In order to qualify as a religion in in United States, that you know you need to do certain things. You need to have a place of worship. You need to provide Sunday services for the children. There's there's a, there's things that we would need to do. You would need like a prayer, which we already, we already have our form of prayer. You know, you get down the knees. You need you need a, a a leather no no a rubber. I believe it was a Burberry slipper, and you whack yourself on the butt. Yeah yeah. <laughs> 
right? <laughs> yeah, Burberry. We have a, a, a yeah, I have a Burberry. Fork. Check check these out. Yeah, so, I never wear um, these. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see it. Let's see it. So we do have a form of worship, and it's just I understand. Oh, it's it's all fun and fun and games and blah blah blah. But I think there is a way to take this joke too far and actually turn it into religion, and it's just gonna be so funny. Oh, there you go, and there you go. So you take that and you whack yourself on the butt a couple of times. Trying to get the show, common projects. Show the brown. Oh, they're brown. Let's see. What is that? What is that? They're white Burberry shoes. Man, they look good. Oh, very nice. I don't know, man. I, they don't get a lot of wear. Honestly, Tim, you probably could sell these on eBay. Because I, oh, I have no oh, yeah. idea. Wait, what size I, is that? Uh, probably a, 10 and a half or 11, oh, something. Around. I don't know if they go Europe. It's Europe sized. So oh, yeah? whatever the equivalent was. Gotcha. Hold on. Let me see if I could find it. But yeah, find somewhere it. around there. Somewhere Just around catch up there. real quick. Atis child throom ten dollars uh super oh, chat we don't always agree on things but i still enjoyed the show congrats to them hey thank you so much uh, atis wow. uh that's what it's all about you know if oh, we we're just man. agreeing with each other that's it's waste of time 44 44 okay i'm gonna made, check what the made, 44 made, check this out made in spain in the in the tongue, it says actually made in Spain. That's not, you know, I guess oh. that's pretty good. Marco, what is 44 in, in American speak? Uh, and Laszlo. Wait, what's 44 in American speak? Yeah. What does that mean? What, what American size? What is, what is 44? Convert mean? the sneaker size oh, of a, 40, of a yeah. Euro European? 44, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Laszlo Devai, 400 HUF. Ooh, interesting. Uh, it says Barking Jack launched his own coffee. Yeah, no, no. I. He didn't launch his own coffee. <laughs> Partnered with a coffee brand it's to 10, release 10 US. 10. 10. That Ooh, that's that good. That's my size. That's my size. Yeah. I'll I take him. You... I'll take him. I'll okay. take him. Well, I mean, yeah, I can, uh, we can 100. Huh? Are you going to wear them or are you going to sell them? No, no. I think I'll wear them. They're white. I actually I have a lot of white sneakers. Okay. I love white sneakers. Uh, Night with Watchmen, five pounds. I'm just asking because hopefully you are the future of YouTube horology chance. I would love to be That'd the be future. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, yeah. 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 Why not? Look, guys, these super chat, you're investing into the future. Because uh, without without the, the financial support, we can't really do this stuff. Um, yeah. Well, you, have, you think you guys would... Uh, so be YouTubing like Roman did on his last uh, gray market uh, episode where he was him and Adrian helicoptered from, uh, I guess their yeah. headquarters in Pennsylvania into and then New, one of their, into New one York of their city. Clients, <laughs> right. And then one of their clients lent them their Rolls Royce. Right. right. Limo. You, you, think, yeah, the limo yeah. you think that was for the show? You think, or they think that happens all the time. He was saying how it not saves all the time. time, but it happens. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, but I, I gotta say, you know, well, it's probably I, a big client. Let's. Be I honest. think he's stepping up his game for the for the uh, for the show for the to you know. Logan Paul, yeah, some dollars. What are the ten commandments of wrist watch collecting? Do not sell I think, Rolex. I think that's like number one. <laughs> I think Archie did this right. Didn't Archie do this? He did like, something he did, like, like ten that. things you shouldn't do, or something like that. Or or should do? I don't know. Things. Don't buy a 34 yeah, millimeter dress piece. That was Ooh, on there. Right. Do not uh, too fucking too fucking small. <laughs> yeah, thou shalt that. not buy squalor. No. Oh yes, squalor. Yes, it's a good one. Thou shalt not spruik shitters, right? Yeah. Thou yeah, thou shalt like, not uh, get like. Thou shalt not flip. Thou shalt not unless, get, unless absolutely necessary. Yeah. In, do not get there's like. A, there's an exception. If you have a vintage piece, do not send it to the AD, right? Man, we can do. I'm telling you, Marco. You think this is uh, like all funny jokes, fun and games, but we can we can actually we can do a religion. Um, this what would you call the, oh the church? I guess Church of Horology. Did church of something? Horology. That's right. And we have we have Arch, Archie is gonna be our first pope. We can we can get uh a, like a horology kind of a <laughs> ceremonial robes. Oh, you know, geez. create them. We can have like a when we do a meeting, we can actually have a ceremony. Oh boy! Where, where we nominate Marco as the cardinal. So so there's there's a lot of potential. Uh, Jaden, 
uh, with uh, Jaden Valtrov. Five dollars super chat. Can't survive on Google Ads alone, Tim. No, not only we can't survive on Google Ads alone, we're gonna go tax free with the Church of Horology and Spence R. One hundred dollars, man. Damn! Yeah. Congratulations Spence. on one hundred show, Timbo. <laughs> put put this towards the hired helicopter fund. <laughs> wow. My God, Spence R, thank you so much, man. Awesome, I, Spence R, yeah. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, writing a book, a follow up to the Archie Luxury. Guys, mm-hmm. if any, I think I think everybody should get themselves a copy of of the Luxury to Last. If you can, get it signed. While well, you can, while well, these are still available, because I'm gonna release the Second Testament. Be Once I get my copy, I'm going to start working on the Second Testament. I'm serious. You know, we'll call serious. that the Old Testament, and yours will be the New Testament. The New Testament. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the exactly. Old Testament. The book of, the book of Marco. Uh, right. You know, the gospel according to Marco. Right. This is, getting, this, is getting into, <laughs> this is getting into dangerous territory. Yeah, I thought Tim didn't like the religion. I thought he was called it a hocus pocus. No, no, exactly. I mean, the this book is of why Marco. I love religion. Like the I mean, book it's... of Marco. It doesn't have to be, you know, like it's a yeah. it's the book of Marco. You know how people say like, oh, you worship luxury goods, etc. And we're like literally worshiping <laughs> I gotta get this book now. So let's it's let's so tell, tell me Archie's book. I didn't even know. Is it long? Is it how long is this thing? It's a, Man, does he have a real book? Oh yeah, it's really short. Yeah, it's called Luxury has, to yeah. Last. Luxury oh, cool. to Last. I didn't oh, know it's that. on Amazon. I'll buy it. I have a link. Wait, I think I have a link. Let me see. Uh, TimWright.com. Let me just check. Real you quick. gotta spoof the affiliates, guys. Affiliate. I think I got an affiliate link. Yes. Wait, it's so see. damn hard to to click through Ooh. on these links. Oh, uh, I, th- I think I turned it off. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to I'm gonna have to reactivate that page where I have the affiliate link. Use the affiliate link. Uh, well, might as well, right? Uh, because that's the money that just disappears. Because uh, if you use the affiliate link, then I take part of the, the profit that Amazon would otherwise take. Which makes no sense. Like, why would you? What would you want to give Amazon more? They, they're not paying any taxes. Like, if Amazon's not going to pay taxes, then why should Call we market? Right? Think about losses, it. Carry forward losses. Don't listen to Tim. It's perfectly <laughs> legal what they do. They're called carry forward losses. You're allowed to do it. It's totally yeah, legal. it's 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 illegal. All businesses do it. The question I'm not, gonna, is yeah, I'm not getting. Legal. I'm not getting into tax advice on the show. I so. mean. I mean, not, they're, they're have, using a loophole. The they're using a loophole. It's not a loophole, Tim. Every business is using. They're, no, they're, they're, they're they're you know what they something. did? Let me, let me. So Tim, Dude, is, I mean, I don't. I, I, I'm not stuff. doing their taxes, right. so I don't right. know what they're doing. <laughs> but whatever they're doing, they shouldn't be paying. Like it <laughs> makes no Somebody sense. Like, what the it, hell? It's yeah, like I'll tell you. I'll tell you one thing. So, so you know how there was a big thing about all the money of all the major corporations. I'm not going to single any out that were all like mm-hmm. in. England or the Cayman Ireland. Islands, Ireland, Ireland, Ireland was a big one. Yep. Yeah, that they was, do that double bounce. I think it's point, or whatever. It was a tax loophole. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. So they kept all their money overseas, yeah. so they yeah. didn't have to pay taxes here, or they paid lower rates, like Ireland rates. Yeah. And then they begged the government for a for a break, like, oh, we need that capital here. Yeah. Oh, okay. We want. A lower tax rate, and you know, look, I'm corporate guy, but you know, I over experience. You could see what's happening. Yeah, low actually, like lower taxes don't don't help the corporations at all. I mean, like America was so successful when the when the tax when corporate taxes were like ninety percent. So let's be let's be serious here. This all of this. The, these these tax breaks, they're not doing them any good. They're actually, I mean, they think that it's helping them, but. It's doing them more harm. T- tying it into watches, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, we could have a watch tax break. Like, mm. you know, there's collectibles. I guess if you – oh, this is what I heard. You can't take losses if you sell a collectible for lower than – like a watch collectible for lower than you bought it. So you have a loss mm. on a watch. Mm. Losses are not allowed, but they want you to declare gains. No, I, I don't know. Huh. That's up to an individual, right? But well, yeah, I'm nice sure thing nobody about- does. The nice thing about watches is that uh, they're not on the books anywhere. 
Yeah. I leave it to I leave it to every individual and their professional and tax advisors to uh, <laughs> make their own decisions on, on what to do. Right. But, Very good disclaimer. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Because we're not I'm not a tax lawyer. I'm just saying speaking as Tim, uh, let me ask you this, okay? If yeah. you could pay the least taxes possible, would you do it? Of course. Well, I don't, don't even know, somebody Marco, I don't even know like that's not yeah, you know but... you know how bullshit that is? Like <laughs> why shouldn't I I should pay as much as I should pay? Like why do I have to guess? You know what I mean? Like why is this so complex? When you go to the store, you pay 8.75% when you buy something in taxes. Why is it always like America, American government is like. Because Tim, there are things. No, 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 like no, no. Let me let me ask this question. I want to pay, what, what I should pay. I shouldn't be like the United States government just goes. Well, I don't know how much you should pay. <laughs> you tell me how much you think you should pay. And these are like, no, no, wait, 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 wait. That's what it is. Like, what should I be paying? <laughs> it's, should it's I be paying thirty-five percent? I just want to know. Just tell me, and I'll pay it. But they're like, "No, we're not gonna tell you." So what am I supposed to do? Oh, just pay what you think you owe us. And what if I what if I'm wrong? Then you'll go to jail. Like, what the heck? What the? <laughs> That's the dumbest way to do taxes. Just set the taxes, and that's it. And that's it. Like, why does it have to be uh, this that's rigmarole? Not the way the tax system works. <laughs> Well, but it's not every country does it this way. Tim, this is a disaster, and that's why I'll, because you know who, this, because you know it allows this, who, small businesses it doesn't allow anything. It, it's it's bullshit because this Tim, Amazon didn't start this out really as a complex, multinational conglomerate. This is all nonsense and like gibberish. All all this no, it's not. This helps people who are super wealthy to hire lawyers, but it also can, helps small who businesses can, too. who can cheat the system or can literally super wealthy. Can hire lawyers to create these laws that have these loopholes. I'll call them loopholes yeah, because they're what they are. Better. Because these laws, these these laws with the loopholes are written by the the multi billionaires. They create the laws and then they hire the, the the their own like tax attorneys to use the loopholes. But most of us, they we don't know how we don't know how the hell this thing works because it's so complex. Tim, it's so, it's so complex. It's just really quickly. We have to wrap this show up. Yeah, yeah we gotta wrap uh, Archie show. is Muhammad in six Ali. minutes. Right. Muhammad Ali, $5, congratulations on your 100th show. What about horological equivalent of uh, Ferengari rule of acquisition? I don't know what that rule is. Well, Marco, can you check check it? Check what is Ferengari rule of acquisition? Sure, sure, sure. sure. Just and get the next oh, aren't you already oh. started the show? What the heck? Oh, Spence at five dollars super chat. Tim making a great argument for flat taxes, which is the most uh, regressive, regressive form of thing. I didn't say uh, <laughs> no, no, I didn't say right. flat. I flat said tax. like depending on your income, you would be taxed differently. Spence but, uh, flat actually, tax, actually, he's sure. talking also no. about a VAT tax, right? The valuated no, no. tax they have in Europe, where you well, tax doing... the goods, you tax what you purchase. I mean, VAT. no. No, I'll, I'll, I'll not we, a flat. We can talk about that, man. I know. Spence we'll are, man, I want to talk to you about taxes. We're gonna, we actually, we're gonna next do time. A, next on time. Next time, right. right on right. the Tim Wright show, <laughs> guys. Thank you for joining me. I'm gonna see you after Archie stream. Oh,